What's up, guys? Wait. <laughs> That's my intro. Anyway, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another video, and today I have something to tell you guys. So, I'm gonna make a video, I think, on my semen retention journey, and I haven't failed. I haven't failed. I have not masturbated once this entire year, and we're already a month and a half in. That's so much, you know, but still, that thing is, that's an accomplishment for myself, and I really do. I really am proud of myself for that one, but this is not gonna be the video for that. This is gonna be for what I got for my birthday. It's gonna be what I got for my birthday. Uh, and what I got for my birthday, I got five gifts. The other one's out in the dining room, so I'm gonna have to go out there for that one. But just to let you guys know, the rundown, five gifts, five gifts. And I got, something was a bowl. That should give you guys a lot, a lot of thoughts there for that. Not really that much. The other one is a bigger bowl, but it holds stuff. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then I got three things that you read. That, that just tell you their books. Um, but here's the first one. I will show you. <laughs> All right. Yeah. All right, so here we go. This is the one I've been reading, as you can tell. Let me show you by the pages. I've read most of this book. It's Third Eye Awakening. Third Eye Awakening, the ultimate guide to discovering new perspectives, increase in awareness, consciousness, and achieving spiritual enlightenment through the powerful lens of the third eye. I like it. The cover of it looks really nice. I like the way it looks. I think this is my mother got this one. Yeah, I think my mama got this one. <laughs> and I'm on this last page. I'm going to give you guys a chapter. Not, not a chapter. No, 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 yeah. I'm just gonna give you guys a, um, one of the things it says. So I'm right here in this part. Um, I'm gonna put this back in there. I'm gonna just, I'm just gonna tell you guys one of the parts that I love. Like, it talks about what's good for your third eye shocker, like spirit, um, your third eye, this is a spiritual message right there. I don't know if, the, I don't know if this is backwards or not. Sorry if it is. I don't know how to fix that. I don't know if this is going to be backwards after it's over. But for me, it looks backwards. That's a spiritual message. It says, your third eye corresponds to your penile gland. While it's impossible to address it with physical touch, you can stimulate it with externally pr produced, produced vibrations using your hands in a dark room, entering the state of mindfulness and focusing on your breath, breathing. With essential oils like lavender and frankincense, and massage the center of your forehead with your eye where your eyebrows meet. So just do this. Just do this repeatedly with some oils. And thing is, and it says move in rhythmic circular motions and repeat an affirmation or mantra to help you focus your energy on it. And I did that reading this yesterday while I was reading it. And honestly, dude, it worked. Like I, I felt... I felt pressure. I didn't do no oils. I actually probably should start getting some essential oils for myself. But um, chapter four, steps to heal your third eye chakra. Prepare your mind. Methods for chakra healing. Crystal healing. Uh, I got my crystals in a bag. I'm giving the moon them right now. Yeah, you see them. You see them. <laughs> Meditation, obviously, is good for pranic healing is where you put... Placing your hands over a specific body part and communicating positivity to the areas of the body that may be suffering from obstruction. Pranic healers need to have positive energy in order to be able to heal others around them. So it's important to make sure you've done your research to find a... Dang it. To find a reliable pranic healer in order to guarantee ideal outcomes. I did not... I, I messed up on that one. I uh, forgot that was right, like right next to this page. But signs of an opening third eye chakra, improved intuition, dull pressure between your eyebrows is a way like knowing. Here, have you, and also it, it says um, 
This woman, uh, Miss Huges, or Mrs. Huges, I don't know if she's married or not. Uh, she's not. <laughs> I don't even know. I don't even know who she is. Um, <laughs> that's hit on a person. I don't even know who they are. Uh, in instances, when there might be arguments around you, always ask yourself these questions. And this is actually good, because I realized some stuff with this, like, Will the outcomes of this debate make a relevant, practical outcome later on, or are we arguing simply to prove who's right or wrong? If it seems that a debate will have a lot relevant result, result that can be used in practical life and the parties are simply engaged in argument to fault the other, it might not be important to proceed. You end up wasting valuable positive energy trying to resolve a matter that doesn't even need attention. I like that. I, I love that. That because I've done that so much. I've just tried to prove that I was right to people. And the thing is, it's usually my mother. Uh, but, and my, my dad, too. But the thing is, though, you shouldn't try to prove that you're right. Right or wrong. Because no one is ever truly wrong. Nobody's ever truly right. And I do think that can be true to an extent. Because, like, is it bad to kill? Of course it's bad to kill. Like, who in the world would even think that's good? Messed up people brainwashed people really evil ego-minded people of course would think that you know and um in the past uh what like 10 days oh yeah yeah right right actually that's for a different video that's for a completely different video let me show you guys my other gift <laughs> this was also a last minute gift that my mom got me so this is the other one and as you can tell, this book I have yet to read, but like, look at, it feels so nice to do that, like, ooh, mm. nice, <laughs> Awakening Transformation, A Beginner's Guide to Becoming Your Higher Self, Tiana Roser, I have yet to read any of this, um, but this is the other spiritual book that I got that was for your herself. Um, it's 141 pages. Wait. That's her. 141 pages, yeah. Nice. And then the other one I got was something that I definitely needed. Because I don't feel like looking this up on my phone. This doesn't even have all the crystals in it, but it's a crystal Bible. And... Um, It's a lot of crystals. It's a lot of stuff about crystals. It's such a big book. I've read. I've read. I've read none of it. Like. It's a big book. Like, let's just pick a random page. Um. As. Nope. Can't pronounce that. Uh, Amber. There we go. It's easy. Color. Golden, brown, or yellow, green is artificially colored. Appearance. What is that? Oakquake or transparent resin? Insects or vegetation trapped inside various sizes. Rarity, easily obtained. Source, Britain, Poland, Italy, Romania, Russia, Germany. Ma Ma Manmar, Demonica. That taught me a lot about that crystal. I mean, thing is, though, I don't, I didn't really, really read that, so I wouldn't, yeah. Anyway, that's for that. Also, two more gifts, guys. This video is already 8.58. I was meaning for this to be, like, five minutes, but I took way too long for that first book. This is the bowl I was talking about. It's a selenite bowl. This was one of my favorite gifts. Besides the, so far, my favorite gift and most beneficial gift has been the third eye book and then this book, or this bowl, not book, it's not book, it's bowl. Um, but yeah, this is, this bowl is just, it's, um, you put your crystals in it, and selenite charges it. It charges your crystals. Selenite charges your crystals, so you don't have to, to put them in the moon and stuff, and I like it. it it's so cool. It's so fragile. Like, if I dropped it on the floor, it would break into pieces. That's how awesome this thing is. It's actually, it's truly good. I'm not even, I need a not exactly, like, I need an eye joke. Okay, it's actually good. I want to be serious. I want to be a serious person. Yeah. It's 
cool bowl. I like the bowl. It's a nice bowl. I really like it. It's a good gift. Um, this was my mother's doing, I think, for this bowl. I think my dad actually had, like, because I, always, I already told him what I wanted was books. And that was, like, the only thing I told them what I wanted. It was, like, I wanted at least two to four books. But three would have been nice. And then, um, yeah, they got me three books, obviously, like I showed. And then this was April. I think this is what April got me. And then my dad, I think he got me. Yeah, I already know what he got me. And he got me the other one. But I'm going to go ahead and show you guys that, too. So let's come out here. See if anybody's up. I don't think anybody's up. Nobody's up. Okay. Here is the other gift. It's a... It isn't hot right now. That kind of sucks. Because if it was hot, it would be... This is a astrology... Astrology, um... Uh... Cup. So if it's hot, it shows... Zodiac signs. Like this one, it shows... This one right there. Usually shows Leo. This one, like, right there. It always shows Aquarius. I think that, yeah, it's pretty good. And then, like, it's just, it's a cool, it's a cool cup, actually. It's a nice mug. I actually kind of like this mug a lot. It's pretty good. Mm. And I got some tea in there. I don't know if you can see that. You probably can't because it's dark and the tea is dark. So you can't see. Um, but, yeah, those were my gifts. Mm. Mm, I love tea. It's so good. But yeah, those are my gifts for my uh, birthday, guys. Those are some pretty good gifts, actually. I really enjoyed the gifts. Appreciative of the gifts, obviously. Grateful for the gifts. As you should be. Whatever someone gets you, no matter what it is, you should be grateful for it. Don't take it for advantage. Don't take it for granted. Be grateful for it. And that's what you should do. Also, one last thing. This is what my grandpa got me for my birthday. Got me some money! <laughs> <laughs> and I have nothing but money in there. I have $342.14 saved up. Yeah. 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 I don't use money. I don't care about money. Money is nothing to me. Money is just a tool. Money is a tool for a wise man. That's true. And then this is also what it came in. It came in this card. When it comes to being a special grandson, you take the cake. Mm -hmm. And then it says, when you go for it, with your go for it enthusiasm, I don't know if you guys can see that, but let me, yeah, there you go. With your go for it enthusiasm about life, with your winning personality, people can't help but admire with your spirit of adventure that's already been made. So many dreams come true. You are and always will be a grandson to celebrate, believe in, and love. Happy birthday. Love you, name on pop. Mm. It's just... <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> mm. When it comes to seeing... <sighs> it's just at first, after... When my uh, grandma died. I wasn't too sad about it. I'm not too sad about it now. <laughs> it's just when I see it. It's just, you know. It's just one of those, you know. <laughs> Ooh, this is why. <laughs> this is why I've <laughs> kind of went away from... Making the video about Nama. Ugh. But yeah, I mean, seeing, even seeing it when I got the card and it's saying Nama on Pop, 
like it's signed name off hop because I know it's not signed by her, but still it's a, it's you know still a name off hop. It's just seeing that it can be emotional, and then we have a picture of her out there too. But anyway, it's good tears. These are good tears. I'm not mad about these tears. I'm happy about these tears. And see, that's the thing, though. Anytime I cry, though, I know that it's good. I'm not sad when I cry. When I cry, I'm happy about it. Because I know it's not a bad thing. It's not a bad thing to cry. No matter what it is, it's not a bad thing to cry. It's good to cry. It's good to cry. Anyway, that's going to be it for this video, guys. Hope you enjoyed. And... I'll see you in the next video, baby.